All right, hey there, guys. Welcome back to the Myth Monstrology playthrough. This is episode 25. I actually ended up skipping a day that I was not intending to. This is Godly Sifu, your host. And today we're going to be questing through, well, the rest of the Drake Hatchery all the way to the Forum and hopefully up to Malister. I can maybe get a little bit of farming in before him or however that looks like it's going to go. Uh, a couple things happened over the past couple days while I was doing nothing. The uh, My plants got there. This one actually turned uh, ult or mega, and so I harvested him, or whatever the pet status is. And this guy finally got there, so let's see what we get from him. Huh. Not the best. That was actually super lackluster. Let's see what we get from the rest. One receive for King Parsley. All right. I know we got uh, a couple King Parsleys here. I think at six now. So that's going to be six additional King Parsley to add to this. Uh, it is double pet rewards or double pet XP right now. What did I spend all my gold on? Hey there, guys. Future Godly Seafood here. Just wanted to chime in real quick. So uh, past Godly Seafood was a dumb dumb and completely forgot that he bought gardening pixies for 175,000 gold. That is why... Uh, Past Godly Seafood does not have any gold right now. Or at least I can't remember. Also, uh, other thing, I forgot to craft this like days ago, almost like a week and a half ago. So here's the here's another uh, whatever this thing is called, a uh, gear vault. I'm gonna put this here for right now, and I'll probably make this my main one. I think the other one is in there uh, somewhere. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. Uh, and speaking of Wizard City, new token. I don't know why, but uh, apparently like a day or two ago on the 19th, the 20th, I got a token. I guess that is my one month anniversary of actually starting this profile. So yay, sort of. Uh, I know on here you can claim tokens. I'm going to do that. Uh, I got a couple of different things. Cerberus Master Pack, Unforgiving Dead Pack I could get for one each there's a crafting member benefit which is not worth it in my opinion crafting is super easy uh unless you're trying to speed through it all in like one day then it can then the time can kind of add up but aside from that here's gold skeleton keys i know there's a lot of dev uh, dev talk about these being considered not particularly valuable so they up the price and then that was controversial because then everybody's like well now it's definitely not worth it or something or other so they lower the price i think Blueprint tokens, not really valuable at the moment. I think the only things I would ever spend blueprint tokens on is to craft a spiral door or a world door to have in my houses, just in more convenient spots. Mal Malastare Saga, st Malastare Saga Spellament Pack, not particularly valuable in my opinion. Spellaments are super easy to get, especially once you have, uh, what are they called? A spiritual and elemental retriever pets. That's it. So yeah. Uh, so let's go here. I don't think I'm going to edit the previous video. Uh, honestly, I was just kind of tired of doing stuff like this. I was, I realized that I got to a point in the quest where it was like, oh, I'm doing a bunch of stuff that isn't really exciting, which is going to be all of the worlds up, you know, up to and after Celestia, uh, at some point. But anyway, so last time we spoke to the ancient matriarch of the Drakes and she said, that you know we went and found her one of her drake eggs she's not sure where the others went bad parenting 101 on her part and uh she went and said hey the uh dragon spire is f-u-c-k fucked right now so you're gonna need to go to wizard city where there which is the only place in the spiral where true fire is l left in the spiral uh the purest fire not true fire pure fire so yeah apparently the only pure fire in all of existence in this uh in the wizard 101 cinematic universe is in a cave in golem court <laughs> who'd have guessed ding i knew that was gonna happen that's why i waited for that right, so we got access to this uh i don't know why they did this this was like for some reason this was like hey Go back to Wizard City. There's no reason for it. You're not going to stay here for a long time. This makes no sense. Uh, but they wanted it to be Dragon Spire themed. No Dragon Spire music. It's Wizard City Commons music, actually. But let's see what we do with the fire. And we've got an, uh, the Drake egg on us. 
You warm the egg in the pure fire. What animation was that? Level 38? Nice. Uh, let's see. All right, ancient, uh, ancient matriarch. I set your child in fire. And, well, I guess that technically means I'm helping birth it. So this is my child, too. I set our child in fire. Even now, I can feel the baby drake stirring inside, warming to life. A drake's egg is hard and tough and cannot be easily broken. For this, we must aid the young drake. To this end, those in the hatchery use a sacred crystal hammer to crack the drake eggshell. So of course the drake they do. Break through. What else would they use? This hammer was taken by the gallium juggernaut. Go and find it and take from it the crystal hammer we require. All right, got to kill a couple of these guys. These guys are undead. They're, they're actually one of the first things I ever started farming with Monstrology on my other character. Uh, so we got to steal a hammer from them. All right, ancient matriarch. I killed two undead guys and I stole their belongings. Be proud of me. You have recovered for us the sacred crystal hammer. The hatching must take place on the center platform. But the um, place is now guarded by the forces of darkness. Why? The renegade, Victor Snowcrusher, taints it with his presence. Why does it have to take place on the center platform? We could just do it right here. Like, you've even got yourself a little cave for safety. Go, wizardling, and face the one who keeps you from your sacred duty to hatch a new drake. Yo, know, I feel like it's you and your traditions that are keeping me from my sacred duty to hatch a new drake. We could do this right here. When Snow Crusher is defeated, place the Drake egg upon the central platform and use the crystal hammer on it. You know, I'm kind of worried about whether or not I'm going to hurt this unborn child, but I mean, if you say so. All right, so we got to fight Victor Snow Crusher. He is a fire boss. He's got a life enemy with him. Probably do life and death shield. Or should it be life and myth? I'm thinking it should be life and myth with fire and... So actually, it should probably be fire and ice, but I don't have that. And some of those. And what does Victor Snowcrusher have to say for himself? He has nothing to say for himself. All right. Uh, let me make sure I've got everything I need. Probably gonna need a ton of wand hits. Um, this is actually not too bad. Put in a couple more undead spells and we'll get this going. Uh, let's see. Undead. There's no reason to summon him. They have no pips. So I don't need a shield at the moment. I don't think they use any negative stuff. So I'll just do a regular shield. What I find quite amazing is that that egg managed to travel all the way over here before we did. It's just chilling over there. Like Dragon Spire Express has gotten, or, you know, pretty good. Um, what has he got? Two and two. Probably going to hit next round unless I get debuffed. I'm looking for an enchant minion so I can summon a suicide guy. Well, that was wasted. Hmm. Oh, perfect. I'm going to go with this. I think I'm going to go with this into a suicide minion into a wand hit. Ooh, almost.
Oh yeah, it's double uh, pet experience for the member benefit. I need to uh, get some gold and hatch a new pet. I'm going to get rid of that Minotaur, that heal, and I'm going to summon uh, this guy. Probably shouldn't call them suicide minions. Um, call them Sudoku minions. Well, that's not cool. Um, if I've got two debuffs, I'm just going to use this on the minion then. So is this your first time playing a life, uh, a life wizard? How are you liking it so far? Alright, let's see what we got here. Not bad. I can get rid of that. Um, this is not a bad hand. I'm hoping Snow Crusher goes for the minion on this hit. It would be great if I could avoid a 5 pip whatever fire spell he could use. Oh, nice. Let's see. Go for this. I don't need that. Use a trap. Oh, nice. Thank you, Sudoku minion. I'm going to summon like two more of you but before the end of the fight. I guarantee it. Um, ooh, I can enchant that. I've got the same blade, so that's not the most valuable to use right now. And fire shield to avoid those pesky fire sharks. Or whatever he can throw out. I think Sunbird is a possibility as well. But he's going to go for the big hits. Get rid of that. I can get rid of another weakness if I get weakness. So I'll use that. Wish I could find my other blades. Mmm. Perfect timing. So I'm probably going to get hit with the... What is that? Six pips? Possibly a fire colossus? Or the little fire dinosaur you used last round. Called it. Alright, I think I'm going to go Sudoku Minion into Damage Spell, or Sudoku Minion into Wand Hit to get rid of potential debuffs into Damage Spell. What is this? A fire Count? Are you kidding me? It's kind of a waste. Actually, not a particularly hard fight. Luckily, I managed to get that minion out of there within the first, like, three or three, four rounds.
What are you at? 1500? Um, I think I can sacrifice a wand hit. Put on a shield just to get rid of cards. And look for more blades. I think I've got... Yeah, one regular myth blade. Which isn't bad. I need to find, like, one or two more blades, then I'll hit again. Oh, perfect. Oh, wow, he really didn't hit with that many pits? I uh, might as well. If anything, I've got some more earthquakes to get rid of. Ooh, close. All right, goodbye, minion. Thank you for taking that damage. You won't be missed because I can summon an unlimited of you. But your company is very appreciated. All right, uh, let's see if I can pull an enchant. Might as well use this on myself. need one undead animus i think i've used one two three four i should have a couple more don't need pip so i can waste a spell i just really like to get that one extra animus if i can Hello, Nathaniel Greenvault. How's it going? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I don't have any empowers. Oh, here it is. Extract undead animus. Get rid of those. How are you doing this evening, Nathaniel? Up to anything fun on Wiz? Alright, uh... Oh, he respawned. Did I actually get any any drops from him? I did not. Other than, like, boots that aren't useful. Alright, so we place the egg here, and we bash it to bits. You use the hammer. Alright, congratulations, I used the hammer. Thank you. I am pleased to meet you. Hold up, you were just born. How do you know English? Where is... Is he just not gonna... This thing isn't gonna talk anymore? Okay, that was odd. Alright, Ancient Matriarch. I have hatched our son. I name him Jim, Destroyer of Worlds. You have hatched a Drake egg. Brought new life to this quiet, cold place. Congratulations, young wizard. And my eternal gratitude. Thank you. My son and I need to go fight Malastare now. Though I birthed the egg... And you hatched it. The young drake must now learn our ways from all of the mother drakes. Who are dead, correct? It is the tradition of our kind that our wisest mothers guide us from birth. All right. Go and speak with the two other mother drakes in the hatchery. They will impart upon you valuable words of wisdom to teach your new drake. Uh, they better be Fus, Ro, and Da. Otherwise, they're not going to be highly valuable. What what words of power do you have for my son? Too long have the lessons I teach been unheard. I tell you then to heed these words, for they are to be honored. I swear to God, if you teach me like uh, 
Kenneth's unrest or whatever that's that shout is from Skyrim. I'm gonna be upset. A drake flies swift and true and without doubt. Fear is the cold enemy. A drake's heart burns fierce and bright. Oh, congratulations. And how does that help me? Take these words of wisdom to the new drake. Right. Well, I don't really see how that's valuable, but I'll pass that along. It'll probably get lost in telephone, but uh, that's how it goes. What what words of power do you bestow on my my son? As is our tradition, tell the young Drake these words of wisdom. Honor is the wind upon which we ride. Without honor, we cannot soar. To lose honor is to plummet to the earth. I feel like that's very bad advice, considering the majority of our, our enemies will cheat and deceive us. Take these words back to the Drake's mother, and then to the new Drake itself. I don't know if I'm going to pass that one along. I might change the, the message a little bit. Maybe have it say something like, uh, win, at, win at all costs, uh, never feel bad about doing the wrong thing. Survival is number one. Or maybe, uh, winning isn't the only thing, but it's the only thing that matters. That's what I'm going to teach my Drake. Alright, Ancient Matriarch, I've got some words from the Drakes, and they're completely and utterly unchanged from their original messages. You might not have heard uh, one of the last ones, but that's alright. And now I speak the final words of wisdom. Those that apply to both Dragon Rider and Young Drake. And that would be? The bond you share is for life. Though your paths may split, and you may be worlds apart. From the Rider, the Drake takes compassion. And from the Drake, the Dragon Rider takes a spark of fire for warmth in dark times. You know, I feel like that's just a clever way to say this is completely useless outside of the main storyline. Because we haven't thought this far ahead yet. You have done well, and brought joy to this place. We have other lessons to teach the new Drake. Alright, and what are those lessons? Go now to speak to the Dragon Master. He can help you now. Oh, I see. Because I'm the father, I'm not allowed to be in part of my son's teachings. And learning development process. I got it. Fine, I'll go chill with Casimir Silver Drake. We'll knock some drinks out and just have a grand old time. You know, I, I I actually don't really care for this guy, so I'm not going to do that. I'm probably going to leave and go do something else while you guys teach my son. Uh, Kashmir, guess what? I hatched a son. His name is Jim, Destroyer of Worlds, and he will be the best Drake who ever lived. You again? What news do you bring? What? You hatched an egg? I'd never dare to dream so. Right. Yeah, it really doesn't make sense that an undre undead dragon would still have live, fertile eggs in a tower guarded by somebody who should have destroyed them to prevent dragons from resurfacing if they didn't like the fact that dragons existed in the first place. It's very convoluted. The young drake cannot fight. Not yet. Its scales have not hardened. It must have armor and learn the fighting ways of dragon kind. I know, and that, that's probably going to take years, which makes, again, makes no sense as to why we, we would go through this specific step. There's no reason that my son should grow up to be, like, 15 years old in the next, like, 30 quests. The spirit of the Drake Smith can help us, if it can be found. Go to the forum and see if he can be raised. If I can raise the... What? That's a very odd request. Uh, we need to go to the necropolis because there's there's no way out of this place What do you mean if his spirit can be raised it probably is also? I don't know that the main character would be raising souls Aside from astrology, of course completely different. All right, Vidor Drake Smith I was told to come to you because you can help arm my Drake Who are you? Can you not leave me to my sorrows in this place of ruin? I love your voice. It's very iconic to me. Hmm. 
You're not from the Titan army, are you? What's that? You carry a Dragon Rider staff? Actually, I don't. It's technically on my wall right now in my house. I can smell drakes on you. You've just helped the new drake hatch. I'm honored to meet you. Well, the pleasure is all mine. So about arming my drake. Or, I guess technically I need to learn how to ride a drake, don't I? If you want to become a dragon rider, you must understand our traditions and our methods. Mm -hmm. It is no small thing to control a drake in combat. Oh, it's lucky that I won't ever actually see any of that combat. Go to the first room of the forum and read the great tome of Dragon Rider history. Gotcha. Alright, so the first tome is where? This way? Oh. It's on the first ring. Why is why are all these tomes not in the same building? What does this have to say? You read the great tome of Dragon Rider history. It is a huge book, full of the stories of epic battles, the heroes of the Dragon Riders and their mighty drakes. Alright, good to know I get a brief overview. They could have stuck their lore in those books, to be honest. Actually, it's kind of sad that the majority of Wizard 101 doesn't actually have a Bigger, more expanded upon lore. But anyway, I've listened to the Knowledge Crystal. I've read the Knowledge Crystal, however that works. Excellent. You now bear with you the weight of our greatest prize, our history. Right. Don't think that your studies are done, young Dragon Rider. There are far more lessons to be learned before we would dare let you ride a drake. Oh, of course, I would expect nothing less, but then a waste of time. Go into the second room of the forum and read the second knowledge crystal. The one called the care and feeding of dragonkind. Oh, you mean the, the knowledge crystal that'll be completely useless and worthless to read, considering the fact that I will never come back to Dragonspire after fighting Malastare? And I'll really only have known my drake for a few hours at best. I understand your teaching methods. I really don't, though. It makes no sense to me. Alright, Knowledge Crystal. Um, I'd like to learn Dragon Care 101, please. You read The Care and Feeding of Dragonkind, a comprehensive guide to all you would need to know to keep your drake healthy and well. That's perfect. Short, sweet, concise, and straight to the point. I'm glad it expanded on nothing, but rather than spending like 30 seconds here. Also, I don't quite understand why my character hates knowledge so much. Every time I interact with a knowledge crystal, he tries to stab it. Like, swirl his staff and just stab it for some reason. He's got issues. Alright, Vidor, what next? Excellent. No matter how much time you spend with your drake, it's essential to know how to care for it. So, hypothetically, if I were to meet it once when it's fully grown over the course of a couple hours... Uh, and then I were to write it once, and ne then never come back to meet that drake again, would this information still be relevant? The third knowledge crystal you must read is the most important. It will explain how to guide your drake into battle. Mm-hmm. You will learn how to stay in the saddle, and how to avoid falling to your doom. Crystal is called the Fundamentals of Dragon Riding. This knowledge crystal is kept in the third room of the amphitheater. Go now and read it, and when you're finished, you will be ready to take wing. Gotcha. I can imagine this is going to be the book that is missing. There's going to be something wrong with this part of the quest. I just know it. The knowledge crystal is nowhere to be found. Oh no. If only I could have foreseen this very exact same thing happening. Alright, Vidor, we got an issue. The um crystal gone. The 
crystal is missing? Yep. Are you certain? It wasn't there. That is unfortunate. You don't say. Lessons contained within are essential for dragon riding. Are they? I feel like it's really just don't fall out of the saddle. I suspect I know where the knowledge crystal has gone. Crasis came to the forum some time ago, attempting to learn our ways. Why? I'm pretty sure Krasis is a draconian and therefore would have the ability to fly. Why would he need to learn how to be a dragon rider? We granted him access to our knowledge crystals. What? Including the fundamentals of dragon riding, but he was instructed not to remove them from the forum grounds. Why would you trust a draconian with that? He's obviously going to have been a member of the Dragon Titan's army. Krasis may still be around. You can find him, force him to surrender that knowledge crystal. How long ago? This is like an overdue library book. How long ago did you give him access to this? It doesn't make any sense. I'm about to level up. Uh, Krasis's tower. Draconian tower. Oh, weird. I think... Wait a minute, what? Oh. It's on the other side. Whoops. Not gonna be undead. I think he's got a Colossus minion, doesn't he? Or does he have a Draconian minion? I hope he has a Draconian minion. I really don't want to have to fight one of these guys. Or maybe he has a Drake minion. Worm minion. I I don't know. Burning flame wing. It's not even called a worm. It's considered a worm, but it's not a worm. Worm. Uh, I'm going to put a mark down and go level up. Wait. I only have 30,000 gold. What did I spend my gold on? Like. Oh, I remember what I spent it on. And I guess I really didn't recover any gold over the past the couple days. Belongs to Krasis. Secrets of dragon riding are mine to use. All right. Well, no, they're not, and I'm going to kill you. Give me that. Bu oh, he's got a Spider-Man? That's odd. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Fire and Storm. I can get rid of these. Get rid of those. I'll put three of these in. And a bunch more of these. All right, let's do this. Yeah, I don't know why anybody would ever look at this guy and say, I want to give this guy access to our Dragon Rider stuff. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, We can put, got two Spider Animus, so I think I'm going to use that. I'm going to put on some shields just because I don't really have... I don't want to use that Pet Blade on the Spider itself. Hmm. This may be a good idea, though. I can use a multi-bladed earthquake and utilize that trap to better, or utilize that blade to better effect. I'm okay with that. Um, hold up. What if I just did that real quick and then use the earthquake? No blades at all. Yeah, that way I can still throw out a couple of hits. Potentially get rid of some shields. Because I think this guy does have miss shields. And then... Oh, nice. Wait, that's a storm... Why? You had multiple pips, you jerk. 
have wasted my minus 50% shield. Oh, anyway. Um. Man, it. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw this one out then. I don't want to take the extra damage. Kind of a waste. I could have used that on Krasis, but it is what it is. If I'm not mistaken, Krasis should drop some of the level 50 items, the new level 50 items. Wizard 101, Krasis. Let me look this up. I'll pull it up in a second. I don't have any shields. Uh, so we're going to go with blades. Oh, cool. I already have it unlocked. Oh, oh yeah, I'm getting hit. It's like, a, it's a storm bat. It doesn't matter. Uh, what is it? The boots or the rings? Because if, if this is the level 50 stuff, which is not, so it's not going to be the rings. Is it the boots? Oh, hold up. I'll look at this and I'll get back to you on that. It's not properly archived either. I would like to say. So it is a little bit difficult for me to find. Krasis' Unfaithful Cowl. However, is that the new level 50 stuff? It is not. Actually, let me... Uh, ooh, Storm Shark. Not the best. The Boots of the Hurricane? No, because it's going to be, like, named gear, isn't it? The Berserker. Um, the hats. Where are the boots? I'm going to throw this up, just since I have that. Grace's Unfaithful Cowl. Uh, Snowcrusher's Mantle. But is that new? Yeah, that is new. Alright, so. It looks like Snowcrusher might give some hats. Although Spider Keeper... Also give some of the hats, but I don't know if they're just named after her or if she actually drops them. Which Yiva Spider Keeper was one of the people I was looking to uh, fight, but never got to just because of lame stuff. Uh, I'm not going to waste this just yet. Is that myth? It is. Do I have a Minotaur? I feel like I might not have a Minotaur. Hmm, not good, not good. Uh, that's two blades, this will be three. I'll shield next round and pull for a Minotaur, maybe. What are these? Who sells, who, who drops the boots? Actually, since I technically have these guys, I'll risk taking some damage, uh, in order... Get these guys. Spider Keepers, level 50. No, that's not it. Man, I know I had them pulled up at one point and I just completely have forgotten where they are. Uh, get rid of that. I'll put this up here. Man, hold up. Let me go to history. Oh, wow. Way to go, minion. History. Wiz101 Wiki. Look at all of that stuff. Subterfuge slippers. That was on the 20. That was on the 12th. Okay, yeah. So this is what I was looking for. Racist's subter subterfuge slippers. It has them in the name. I'm wondering if he drops them or if it's just Mouse or Drake. It, like, a lot of this stuff is just terribly archived. Meaning that n nobody has archived it yet, so I have no clue on who drops it. So, that's the whole reason I was looking for that. Because I knew I had seen his name somewhere before. And I know for a fact that he used to drop the old uh, level, some of the old level 50 year for certain schools.
that on there. Come on. Come on, dude. I need you to, like, throw out a blood bat or something. Hmm. You know what? I probably should not have enchanted this guy. Come on, blood bat. All right. There's that. I don't have a debuff. I'm going to heal. Then I can go for a hit. Oh my god, what? That's the second time he's done that. With the myth spell. He tanked the accuracy on a fire and storm spell. You suck, dude. Yeah, I shouldn't have gotten rid of those pierces. Well, I find myself in a predicament now that I did not want to be in. Oh man, that sucks. I wish I hadn't used all my Minotaurs on that spider. I should have one more somewhere. I, I was just really hoping this minion would not be like this terrible. Yeah, keep hitting me. That's what that's what I need right now. I need this minion to get rid of at least one shield. While I pull my other minotaur. Oh my god. This dude just keeps using off-brand spells. How about you guys give me a spellament upgrade to let them use like certain school spells? That'd be, a, that'd be a good use of spell elements. Um, well. Can use that, now that I've finally pulled one of those. I might as well just throw out a one hit. Keep the aggro on me. Because I don't think he debuffs. Even if he does, I've got like three more. If I haven't already gotten rid of some. This is one of those fights I took too long to set up and use too many of my good cards. Now I'm relying on some stupid minion to figure it out. Um, yeah, this is fine. I'll pass, let him hit. If he fills with a third myth spell, I'm going to be pissed. Like, that was just absolute trash. 80% accuracy, and a minion is fizzling while he's tanking the accuracy on levels or on 75 and 70 accuracy spells. If he uses a second myth hit here, I'll pass. If not, I might go for the Minotaur. Oh man, but I don't I don't think this kills. I'd be surprised. But I've got enough hits to hit back to back. To back. Hmm. Excuse me. Yeah, it is Friday, huh? Yeah, that didn't kill. Perfect, perfect. Then I can use that minion. Or that, uh, not minion, that... That one spell, the Colossus. Come on, let me see what I got. Like, do I risk the extra damn? No, I'm not risking that. Um, I use this and heal up if I need to afterwards. This should kill. Plus, it's got the draconian enchantment on it, I believe. Oh, nice. Ooh, what is this? Blade of something. That's not important. 15%. Uh, what? That's nifty. Uh, I'll keep that for now. Just in case I 
need to get rid of that. Uh, sadly, he didn't get the boots. I don't know that he drops them. If he does, I'm going to farm him a couple times. But that'll be later before I fight Malastare. And... Oh man, I just don't have the gold. I keep thinking, oh well, I'm just going to go sell some stuff real quick. Hatch a new pet that I was looking for. And call it a day. And then it's like, nope, can't do that. Don't have thing that I need. Alright, and we're back. Went and sold some stuff. Ended up getting close to 50k gold now. Didn't buy anything. Uh, ended up... I had this pet uh, earlier. I never decided to level it up, but finally got a pet with healing current on it. Now that I've passed Mount Olympus and passed most of the hard solo stuff up to this point. Which is where Healing Current would have been super great to have. So I'm just going to have him on me while I turn in Quest now. Because it is valuable to get this guy XP without wasting my snacks or energy. So anyway, uh, Vidor Drakesmith. I beat Krasis. He didn't drop me the boots that I want, although I don't know that he actually drops them. And now I've come back to you with uh, this Knowledge Crystal. Again, you surprise me with your dedication. Thank you for recovering this knowledge crystal from the thief who took it. Well, I mean, if you'd be smarter about who you lent your knowledge crystals out to, you wouldn't have to worry about them going missing, bud. Now that you've recovered the fundamentals of dragon riding, please return it to the pedestal in the third room of the amphitheater. I could just take it with me. It'd be great to have that knowledge on hand if I forget something. With the Knowledge Crystal returned to its rightful place, it's time to read. There's really no reason for me to walk over here. Ooh, or I can use that. Alright, so let's see. We got Crystal Stand. Tell me, oh Knowledge Crystal... How do I stay on the saddle of a drake without falling off? You read The Fundamentals of Dragon Riding, a step-by-step -step guide to mounting, riding, and guiding your drake. Step one, put a saddle on. Step two, get on the drake. Step three, hang on for your dear life and hold, hope not to die. It is a big book and covers a lot of ground, but there are helpful diagrams and lots of examples. Oh, how convenient. All right. Talk to this guy. Ain't 90 just for reading a... Reading a knowledge... Listening to a knowledge crystal? Reading a knowledge crystal? Still a lot of experience. You've now learned all of the stored knowledge there is about dragon riding. I'll bet you can't wait to actually get into the saddle. Yep. Can't wait. Can't wait to finally beat Malastare and get this journey over with. We've spent enough time dwelling on the past. Now that you know history, it's time to make a new future. You're right. We must forge armor for your new drake. The first step is to relight the forge, cold all these years. To light it, we need fuel and flame. Yep, that's how you typically light a forge. For fuel, you must defeat fang-toothed lava spinners and take from them their coal hearts. The flame must come from the flame sacks of burning flame wings. Right. Where exactly on the flame wing are the flame sacks? All right, uh, Vidor Drake Smith, not Vladimir Vidor. Um, I got your coal hearts in your flame sacks. You surely come from a long line of warriors. These will do nicely. Let us get to work. This is a great day indeed to see this cold forge lit hot once more. Right. Place the coal hearts and the flame sacks within the forge so that it will heat enough for us to make your drake's armor. Right. Dragon Spire Standard. Cool. Alright, so we do this. And I am going to say this now. In Mushu, there's the, the exact same forge 
in the Village of Sorrow, and it did not have an animation. If this one has an animation, I'm going to be upset, and I'm going to consider this to be laziness on King's Owl's part for not putting the animation in the Mushu one. You place the coal hearts and flame sacks into the forge. Laziness by King's Isle. That's how to do it. Now, ignite the forge, and it'll begin to heat up. You ignite the forge. It burns brightly and gets very hot. Yeah, thank you, narrator. That's how forges work. So yeah, that type of forge has an animation, which they did not use in Mushu. I'm proud to see that forge burning once more. Careful not to touch it. It'll burn you. Yeah, that's that's how fire works, dude. I already know that. Now that the forge is burning bright, you'll need metal to make the armor with. Unfortunately, all of the metal we had here was stolen by the Draconians. Of course it was. So I'm just going to go beat up the locals and steal their belongings again. I'm actually quite good at that. They took our metal, tried to make armor after our fashion, but it is a poor imitation. Mm-hmm. You must go defeat some Draconians and take from them their armor so that we might melt it down and forge new Drake armor. Gotcha. All right. Collected all of it. That's perfect. And then we talk to... Vidor Drake Smith. I've gotten all the draconian armor. From the looks of this armor, you gave those draconians quite the threshing. Good work. Oh, yeah. I've examined the inferior armor the draconians made, and I see why it isn't as tough as proper Drake armor. Why is that? They forgot to use brimstone in the process of armor forging. As a result, their armor isn't resistant to fire. Is brimstone, like, magical in some aspect that would give it fire-resistant properties? I don't see how that's valuable. I think you know what comes next. I need you to go and find us some brimstone. Yeah. Don't worry, young wizard. You don't have to defeat anyone. Just gather it where it may have collected on the walls or ground. Gotcha. Is there... I don't think it actually collects on the walls. It's just kind of all over the ground. Maybe they had plans of having brimstone on the walls, but I've never seen that. All right, Vidor, Vidor, Drake Smith, whatever your name is. Got the brimstone. Sorry you had to get your hands dirty with that. Are you? They're almost ready. I mean, because I didn't see you helping. Now we can smelt the base metal we will use to forge your Drake's armor. All right. Go ahead and add the brimstone and those pieces of Draconian armor to the forge. And so what do I do after that? Be careful not to splash yourself with any molten metal. It will leave a nasty burn. <laughs> of course it will. It's molted metal. God, I, I don't understand why they go so far out of their way to say, don't burn yourself. When you're obviously, it's not scripted that you're going to burn yourself. Carefully, you add the pieces of dirt Burn by mount. Armor and the brimstone to the forge. The metal begins to melt. Seriously, I burned my mount. Good thing I've got like five more. Fishing. Worth it just to have some speed. All right, Vidor Drake Smith. I've crafted the armor, I guess. I don't really think I read any books on crafting Drake armor. You're doing well. I didn't know better. I think you were a blacksmith, not a wizard. I will now forge the armor from the elements you have provided. This armor will be strong and will protect your Drake from harm. Well, I mean, we wouldn't have crafted it if it wasn't. It is best that you leave this place while I work, as the secrets of Drake smithing cannot be shared. 
There is one last service you can perform for me. The helmet must be lined with the scales of a Father Drake. Right. The Draconians speak fearfully of our Father Drake, holding out in the lowest reaches of the dungeon. You must go there at once. There are many Draconians who will bar the way. Of course they will. When you reach the Father Drake, Ask him for his loose scales to make a new set of Drake armor. He should give you them without pause. Leave a mark here. Go find Father Drake there. Alright, so... Father Drake. Where art thou, Father Drake? There he is. Why did the... Why, would, why was Vidor Drake Smith or whatever talking about... Wait, what was his name? Yeah. Why was Vidor Drake Smith talking about how Father Drake was holding out? Father Drake's dead. You fought bravely to have reached me in this place. Many Draconians stood between here and the Academy. Uh, you sound like Bartleby. You wish for my scales, for a new suit of Drake armor. I am most pleased to give these to you. Ride with glory and honor. Uh, probably. I probably won't. Probably just ride the Drake once and leave it on this godforsaken planet. The Father Drake gives you several of his loose scales, more than you need. Oh, great! Can leave some for the the next Dragon Rider. All right, Vidor, I've got the scales. Did you finish up that armor? That's plenty. The Father Drake must have liked you to have given you so many. Let me see here. You know, to be honest, he's probably just tired of them clogging up his empty room. So he's like, you know what? Get rid of this crap for me. No one else is going to come grab it. He attaches the Father Drake scales inside the helmet of the Drake armor. Why? I'm finished now. This is the finest suit of Drake armor I have ever made. What do you mean you? I did most of the work. You're undead. Everything will slip through your fingers. The armor is forged. No armor has had such a story of courage before it was even born. Right. Take it now to the Mother Drake in the hatchery, so that she might armor the new Drake in such fine protection. All right, back to an ancient matriarch. I'm gonna just run past you guys. All right, ancient matriarch, where is my son, Jim, destroyer of worlds? I have his battle armor prepared. The armor, is it ready now? Uh, I, I just said it was ready. Where's my son? You give the mother Drake the armor. She looks at it appreciatively. This is the finest suit of Drake armor I've yet seen. It is only fitting for so great a task. Yeah, so great a task for one dragon ride up a mountain. I'm, gl I'm glad that you guys went all out this time. The newborn Drake has been made ready for you now. There is one launching pad left in the academy. What? And once armored, he will take wing and meet you there. Why is there only one launching pad? There should be, like, many. There, sh there should have been, like, tons of dragon riders during the last dragon war. Go and speak with Ashley, the fire tree. She will provide the last bit of guidance. All right. Good luck, young dragon rider. All our hopes go with you. You're all dead. You don't need to have hopes and dreams. All right, guys. Well, with that, I think I'm going to end... Not necessarily end the episode, just end the questing part of the episode. Uh, I'm actually going to go fight some spiders and make my way to Yiva Spider Keeper. But I'll do that on stream anyway. Uh... See, I need to. I wonder if there is there any. There is nice. We got that. Uh, Ashley's down here. I'll leave a port, but I'm gonna make my way to the Spider Keeper. I'm only like one or two quests away. I just didn't want to have to fight mobs unnecessarily last time, and plus in the last video that I'm not gonna edit because I'm lazy, and just wasn't feeling that episode. 
I just wasn't particularly into it. Um, so yeah, take my port, and I need to go this way. Hey there guys, Godly Seaput here. Just want to make an outro for the video. Uh, I realized that uh, at some point uh, I decided to do the Eva Spider Keeper quest uh, because I thought that the level 50 gear that came out with the Dragon Spire World Pack would actually drop from these bosses. I mean, it literally has their name, like this, this Spider Keeper name in the name of some of the gear. Turns out I was completely incorrect. It's basically dropped all throughout the, the final dungeon save for the amulet which is dropped on a side boss uh so yeah that's the whole reason i was doing this quest realized that it was completely redundant i can't remember if i cut out the spider keeper quest from the uh the 24th episode but i'm just gonna cut this out here would like to say i was basically the whole time i was fighting here i was like wow this chick basically looks like young morgant they obviously must have based you know morgant off of her uh, this whole chick's storyline is that, you know, she's a spider keeper and dragon spire gets corrupted and at the after you beat her, she's like, I'll be back. And, you know, that would lead you to think, oh, hey, why didn't they just make this the, uh, you know, why didn't they just make Morganth her? They already had somebody somewhat established, even though it is technically a side quest boss. And then I realized, you know, they probably just based Morganth off of her because they thought it was a neat concept, but also... The quest giver who you talk to is basically like, oh, she said she'd be back? No, nah, she's just BSing. She, she, she's just joking. She's just joshing you, dude. She's not going to be back. It's an empty threat. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh, look forward to posting the next one, Malastare. It's going to be fun.